Hello guys and welcome back to Planet Coaster. Today, new challenges have been achieved. Claim my prize. We still haven't actually managed to break the 21k, which I'm surprised at. But I guess it's because I spend so much every month. We still got the 9 excitement coaster to go. We have some degree of congestion going on here for reasons I don't quite understand. It almost seems like the park just opened, but it opened like um, hours ago. So whether that's still people trying to get in or something, I do not know. Um, but hopefully that resolves itself. Let's take a look on the overview. 6,400 people, 4,100 rating. We're literally reaching new heights. I believe this is being fixed. Those people said this was completely broken last time. And it's literally broken down. Can we get a clean up in? I'll fix this ride, please. Status wear and tear. You know, let's get that refurbished. There we go. And hopefully that will be fine once it's opened back up. We've got our new ride, the, the Rubber Dingy Rapids. You know, that's literally what I'm calling it. Um, yes, that is a, um, a film reference, for those of you wondering. Rubber ding, uh, Dingy Rapids. There we go. It is done. Please tell me that, as you say. There we go. Yes, it is open and it seems to be working quite well. Let's check the finances. It's already uh, already potentially going to be making 1.8k a month, which is nice. It's bringing people up to this new area. Is this open? This is, but no one's really going on it yet. I think there's a few people in there, worth keeping in mind. Um, this gift store, coming in popular. I, I do want to finally get a food court in. I think I'm going the distance and doing it because we have more people than we've ever had before. I really hope they're not all stuck down here because we've got loads of room out there for them to be in. And you will notice that things are a little stuttery. It's literally, okay, they're spreading out gradually, very gradually. A monorail is something I need to think of as well. I think I would have to destroy one of these rides. Or maybe actually, maybe get rid of this to fit one in. I don't know. Um, a new entertainer could be in the, in the plans as well, in the works, but things are looking good. So yeah, I want to add a new food court, I think right at the middle, like literally here, I think to try and kind of attract people out this way, perhaps even off here. But no, I'm thinking like off here could be a great place. And I can even have it interlinked in multiple ways. So if I go into my blueprints, I looked up some new stuff. So we go food. Okay, here we go. Big old food court, a four grand food court. Yes, this looks just like what I want. And it's got an entrance either side. So I, oh, you know, what? it doesn't have an entrance either side. It's actually a one way thing, which could cause problems as you have known to happen in the past. So now I'm slightly concerned. But it does fit really nicely in this little space here. Maybe actually if I create some wider path, I create its own little bit off that loop to actually link to it. That links those two up just to create an extra pathway infrastructure down the middle. So we're going to place it in like that. It's got a load of stuff in there. And it's got a load of nice scenery that goes along with it. So I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do this, honestly. But we're going to try. So we're going to start off by having a new pathway which is going to curb across the front. Doubling up like that is something I should have done a long time ago. And now we have a pathway that enters. See, look, it's going to try and link to all of these stop, these um, shops. That is the problem we're going to run into here. So I think I need to take a different approach here, all right? Take a different approach, pathway, snap it down to four meters. Okay, now I want it just like that. Okay, we can make this work eventually. Yeah, okay, if we get this sort of a thing going on, we link in all of the shops and stores, and then afterwards we link in the pathwaying. Here we go. Oh, this has tons of stuff. Wait, does it have more on these sides? No. Oh, wait, it does. Oh, it has an ATM there. Okay, it's going to have to be very delicate about this, and hopefully it will all pay off. Oh, wait, actually, do I, would I want it like that? No, wait, I feel like that's going to go badly. I feel like stuff ain't going to link properly, so. Let's do it to here. There we go. Link it in. Literally, this is linked in. <laughs> this is linked in, in a park. I think this is, I, I don't know how you're supposed to actually use these blueprints. In before, there's a really, really simple way that I just don't know about to make these and make them work. And I'm just embarrassed now. I don't feel like there is. 
Okay, so now we need to get, now can I get a big path that just links in? Okay, it links in with the left, but not the right. So that's kind of what we want to go for. Um, you know, if we uh, have a big loop like that, a big loop like that, yes, nice, nice, nice. That's the kind of thing we want to be doing. Now we get a narrow into there and there. So I want to do a similar thing on the front now. As big as it's going to get, actually. Don't have as much room, but actually, no, we do. Because, look, we can link it off there. Okay. That's looking good. Now, same again off here. Like so. And... Wait, we, let's get this bit right. Um, let's make it a little more narrow so it actually fits through that archway. Right, straight through there, mate. There we go, boom. Food court linked up and ready to activate. Beautiful, we got tons and tons of stuff in here. I feel like we're lacking um, the path scenery. Yep, yeah, I was in blueprints before, so obviously there was no path, path scenery. That was very dumb of me. I've learnt my ways of that error. Alright. Now let's just get tons of these in there. All the way around like that. Do the same thing around here. People are coming in. Hopefully those uh those watching clocks aren't in the way. The what yep, yeah, I'm sure everyone knows what I'm talking about. Hopefully the bench aren't in the way of like the ATM and stuff. You know, should I just get rid of that little middle scenery? I think I might do. Um, okay. No, advanced. Edit building. Let's get rid of all this stuff. You know, we could leave two bushes in there, but the rest get moved out just to fit our little design. Now let's move that inwards. Move it. We like to move it, move it. And then move that inwards as well. Come on. Give me the moves. There we go. Perfect. That looks a lot better. Now scenery, we got the bins in there. And look, we can get, we can fit. I don't know where I actually just placed a bin. Don't know where it went. But would you look at that? Isn't that looking awesome? Even have some bins up there. Alright, let's hope that all works. Brand new little area. It's got a nice little route in and out. Cool. Should be a nice little attraction. It looks quite nice as well. Literally, the food court. My first food court is in the King Kong, Car King Kong Castle Food Court. I don't know why I called it that. Um, but it looks nice. Looks very nice. I feel like I want that sign on the other side as well. Can I just copy and paste that? Let's see. Edit building. Let's duplicate. Let's put it on the other side. Let's shift it up, and now let's rotate it. Not that way. How do I rotate it the other way? Oh no. Grab this, now advanced move. Advanced rotate. Spin it round this way to the flat. Tick it. Now move it. Come on. Let's, let's get it moved. Is that where I want it? Oh, it is actually. Oh, it's not quite parallel. Is that going to bother me a lot? Does it need to be higher up? No, I think that's quite good actually. There we go. We have a food cot. Built in. Ready to go. Watch no one ever use this. And I'll just feel terrible. The idea is that people do use it. Um, okay, so, that's looking good. Guys, I think it's time that we got another roller coaster. Let's actually, let's check up on just guest stats here. Okay, I'm not even looking at the main thing. Oh dear, literally it's disgusting. Research, do I have some more research? I have that. What do we get? Oh yes, the monorail. Yes, indeed. I think I might build that next episode. Let's get some, we've got still so many coasters to research. Let's go for it. Let's go all out here. Let's get, what should we go for? Another thrill ride? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, those research is coming in. Stuff. 
Get another two janitors in. Three janitors. I can have a whole army of janitors. I've got the money to do it. Like, why not, you know? We have a lot of people in our park. I just have to remember to get those guys all trained up. As we know, that is the slight struggle. Right, now I'm just going to go through. You guys have seen me do this a million times, so I'm just going to fast forward through. I'm um, just making sure all my staff are paid correctly and are happy. He just literally just quit. Has quit and he's trying to leave the park. Okay, I stop him. Nah, I'm kidding. All right, let me sort all these guys out. It's probably going to take like five minutes and then we'll continue. And that is done. We have some serious staff in here. Like, oh my goodness. This stuff ain't a joke. Let's see, actually, are all of these things open? Let me see. Um, I actually need to go in attractions and shops. Check. And it seems like, actually, yeah, some of these are even closed as well. So we need even more staff than what we have. Like, an extra three on top of that. And I'll have to make sure to train those up. But my goodness. Okay. That is a struggle. But if I, you know, forget about those ugly looking percents. We're looking all right. Could actually do some more benches, as we said. Um, toilet's actually never been green before, so that's good. I think I'm just going to spam benches all the way around this big loop, actually. We have a couple, but more. You know, the more the merrier. That's really not a hard thing to fix, actually. You know what? Um, what? No, it's not. It's in here. Right, I'm just going to spend, like, literally, like, five minutes spamming down benches. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I've added a lot more, but there will probably be more to come even on that front. One thing I'm also going to do in a hope to uh, sort out problems is this isn't even making profit. So I think I'm just going to get rid of it here. Select building and uh, delete. Oh, really? And delete this as well. And now what we can actually do is we can clear some of this out and actually link this path up. So when we get a lot of congestion on either of these, hopefully that can be resolved by the fact that people will walk out left and right. Actually, could I make this whole... Could I just get rid of all of that and make this extra thick paths on the way in? I think we a huge reform just was inspired that could actually help with a lot of kind of congestion at the very entrance of our park. Yeah, you know, it looks nice, but we can replace it with other stuff. Yeah, this is what we needed. Oh, this is a big reform. It's a big, big old reform here. Okay, so where can I start deleting from? Okay, now I need that there. I think it's from here. Oh, okay. Now we're on to something. All right, here, check this out. This could be a nice little thing to do, okay? So now I've got this whole looking thing. All right, we go max width pathway. We have two of them. All right, two of them. Not just one, two. All right. Let's just leave that there. We have another one that starts here. And we link one each way. There we go. Boom. And here again, we start from here. We need to keep it out. We need to keep the width going. Yeah, sure. Why not? That looks so ugly. Especially with those benches out of place. I've got to just remove those for now. We'll sort those out. Now, we have to make this look look good. Uh, I'm going to tweak this just so it looks nice and then we'll be, we'll be set. Guys, I'm not even kidding you. These paths are driving me literally up the wall. They're just the most awkward things ever. Just making something that looks nice and symmetrical is possibly the hardest thing I've, I've honestly ever done. Like... Look, I ended up with this line. Oh my god, if I delete that, it deletes everything. All right, okay, let's just try and get rid of a little bit of this. Little bit, like, No, I don't want to delete everything now. I, I get that I've got this. Oh, this is just... Like, you know, do I just start from here? Could this work? Okay. Look, we know what we want to do. Look, just, just be symmetric. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. I want to start my own bit from here. It's just everything tries to snap to everything. And no, there's no way I'm fixing all of that. All right, wait, undo. Undo, wait, bring it back. There we go, okay. Leave that infrastructure as it is. It's going to get messy. I think that's just something I've, I've come to accept by this point. There's just, like, I've tried a million and one things. Like, look. <laughs> it just looks plain ugly. I don't understand how that became a straight line. Yeah, right here. Oh, no, that, that can't be a straight line. Wait, unless I can trick it. Unless I can trick it. I just... 
Okay, let's add in two bits like that. Okay. <laughs> what on earth have I created? I just, I don't even know anymore. Like here. I have that connect in. Oh, now I can't even connect it in. Wait. Wait. Stop being the most annoying. Okay, let's put in one opening there. Delete, then delete this end bit. Then put another one here. Okay, now if I can link this around to there. Oh, it looks disgusting. But honestly, guys, I think that is literally the closest I'm going to get to making that all link up properly. Okay, we can we can fix it in other ways. It's just I like that that's a straight line. I don't like that this isn't a straight line. Wait, what if... What if I uh, work on it from up here? I like. I wanted you guys to be involved in this struggle, by the way. That's why I'm. I haven't cut out of this yet. Cupar. No. Um. Okay. Think. 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 I just want this path not to look terrible. Is, is that such a hard thing to ask? Like. What, look, because it's always going to have. It's so difficult to get rid of those loop sections. Like that is the the key, the core problem here. Or oh, actually. Look, just stay in a straight line. That's all I'm asking you to do. It's just not... I'm never going to move that. There, there's got to be a better way. There's got to be a better way to use this tool that I'm not... I'm not picking up on. Even with that angle snap, I don't think it would help. Because look, like, imagine... <laughs> just created problems, you know, honestly. I think, actually, that was like... <laughs> if anyone knows how I can get rid of this annoying little bit... Please just let me know. Just, just tell me. Maybe I can do it a bit at a time, okay? Then, look, we don't even place that bit. You're going to lose that. Like, I'm a simple guy, right? There's not a lot I want. I just want this to work properly, okay? From here. Then, from here. Like, if I link this around, it won't even let me link it around, for crying out loud. Like, I just... <laughs> There's one thing that I just can't stand. It's this blooming tool. You know what? It's, it'll do, it'll do. Okay, so, you know what we're going to do? We're going to... I definitely got a good blueprint for this, come on. I think I got some new fountains. Alright, here we go. The data fountain. Ooh, it has, like, lights going up into it. See, that works quite nicely to kind of fill that, but it's a bit big. That's also huge. Have I got anything that's just a bit... You know what? That actually covers the path gap if I uh, align it correctly. Like so, no one would ever know. It's just got a nice natural fountain, which is, I guess, that bit there. Does water come out of it? I assume actually those are water features in there. There we go. Honestly, guys, I just dedicated about 20 minutes of my, of my life trying to make that path look nice, and that is the furthest I got. What you see before you, what you behold before you, is really the best I could do. So hopefully this should get people in and out of my park a little easier. Um, that's, that's the idea behind it anyway. It's got a bit of scenery, cool. Yeah, right. Okay, moving on. Moving on with the day. Okay, so that's where all the people that were on the path got squished to. But look, they have so much more room to spread out into now. So this is nice. So this is good. And look, that centerpiece, it just adds to the irregu irregularity. Look, they're like, must flood this space. Vic made us all this space. We must flood it. Um, and hey, I think people are going to get in and out of the park a little easier, hopefully now. So that's cool. We're, we're just like hot fixing everything because we... Did not have hindsight, which is, as you guys know, 2020. Perfect vision, hindsight. Just the flumes. Everyone loves the flumes. Let's see. Are people going to the food court? Yeah, here and there. Not as popular as I'd hoped it would have been, but, you know, we'll give it time. It just takes some time. Little food court, you're in the middle of the ride. And we're making mad banks, so we don't really mind. Okay. New roller coaster. I think, ooh, I think we're going to get a blueprint coaster in here. I'm going to see what we got. What's the best thing we got on the coasters? On the custom blueprints. Okay, Colossus. 
pretty darn good stats. Oh, all green. So which do I prefer? Corkscrew is actually pretty darn good. Okay, monoliths, really, really good. Seven for 2.2. That's six, six. Okay. Thing is, I've got to look at the layouts of these. I want one that's realistically quite compact. See, look, that's huge. Like, how much space do I have? Where can I go to with my park? Let's just uh, lift it up. My park goes out to, like, that corner out there. So it goes to that corner there, and I'm assuming, like, that corner up there. So we're, like, we're getting towards halfway full, so I don't want to be kind of conscious. So let's see, corkscrew, you're a little more of a reasonable shape. Yeah, see, you're nice. You are a nice little ride. You've got good stats, you're going to be a fast rider. I dig it. Very much so. To the point where I might even have it above. Going above the food court, alright? What do we think to that? I think that fits very nice in that space, actually. But queuing, we want a little further away. So, a little more like there. I feel like it did look really nice, though, actually. Around there, unless I do a flat 180 and put the queuing the other side. Here we go. Have the big arc over there. I want to look at really vertically how I'm placing this. I like that, actually. Do we like that? Let's think about this. I almost preferred it when it was rotated the other way around. But then, yeah, we end up... No, that's going to be the smartest way to place it. I think, like, that works pretty cool. It literally goes over. And that's going to give it some nice prestige as well. It going over there. So now I just get it at the height so it just runs over. I think we've got a winner right there. Boom, place it in. Yeah, it's compact, it's got good stats. The kind of stuff that we want. Yeah, I like that, how it literally, yeah. It, it actually adds to that food court quite nicely, I think. Really does. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, right, let's get this just boom stuck in. And then we'll ride it and see how it goes. So wait, they get in here, where do they exit? I'm seeing a lot of entries and not many exits. Oh, they get off the other side, I'm assuming. One can assume. Place exit. I assume they get off the other side. Alright, let's get that down there then. Alright, connect entrance path. I think I'm going to have it... Do I want it on the main road? Yeah, I do. So actually here, we're going to start, start dropping it down around this way. We're going to have to go steeper, aren't we? Get some steps in there. Did we actually need to go steeper? Yeah, props was a nice way to get things done. And boom. There we go. It's locked in. So that's how they get on. They kind of walk up and under. I like that. And then the exit is just going to be straight out. Straight out like this. And again, we're going straight down. Remember when I was like, you know what? We're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be allow everyone access. We are not even gonna have stairs anyway, anywhere. Okay, so that's obstructed for some reason. Which is a little bit of a worry. Oh, that's literally going through the uh, little bit of it, isn't it? Okay. Right, we're gonna need to change this up. Aha. Yes, we've like snaked its way down. The more of those I can take up, the better as well. Ah, oh, perfection. Perfection. Okay, it's called the American Arrow. So it's actually the same design as... Do I have two American Arrows right now? I think I just have the one, so this is going to be the second. But it does, it does actually have a name. I'm going to give it its proper name. Blueprint, coasters, it's called Corkscrew. There we go. Oh, so it is called Corkscrew. Okay. So here we go. Let's test this. Test this sucker. See how it feels. See how it rides. Alright, a brand new ride. Um, hello. Yeah, this has really good stats. Let's see what it's like. Um, also, I should note that, yeah, again, frame rate is not going to be the most wonderful thing. Because 
so damn much in this park, especially when you see it all over this hill. I like the way it starts. None of my rides actually start like this with a kind of like a flat turn into it. And you at least you do your full corkscrew. Oh yeah, you corkscrew around the lift. I like that a lot, actually. Then you corkscrew back and back. Loop de loop. There's actually a lot on this ride. For what seems to be a very simple ride, there's a lot to it. And there we go. It's a nice, quick and clean, fun ride. I like it. That's going to get a lot of people through it, which is good. It's good stuff. We shall open it up. And look, all green, so. And prestige. Not coming through that great. Um, we need some scenery. We can get some of that right in there. We'll get that right in there. We'll get that right in there now, just for you. Okay, so. Recent blueprints. I just got some new stuff. So I've, we've used the stone fountain. Honestly, that looks really good, but does it fit so much? Do we? In fact, it's one of the main new things we got, actually. We got two new rides. The data fountain. That does look awesome. I assume it lights up and stuff as well. We could have the data fountain here. Why not? Some more. It should be ride scenery and nighttime it would light up. There we go. The data fountain. Does it do something cool? I assume it lights up. Here, let's go to night. Set lighting. 10 p.m. Do you do the lighting up? Oh, there we go. It's, it's lit up now. That's yeah, pretty cool. And I'm assuming now that we are on this front. What time actually is it? It's 6 p.m. It's dark anyway. Yeah, there we go. 100% Q scenery and the ride scenery should be going up now. Because that should count into the ride. Okay. Nice stuff. Nice, nice stuff. Yeah, I mean, it should have so much scenery around it. It's a nice little addition. I'm going to set straight to 10 a.m. There we go. Oh, it's right in the shadow at that point. But it's just at that point in time. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Guys, my PC's struggling. What are we at? 6.2k <laughs> people. Just a lot of stuff going on. Come on. People hit the food court. Like... Come on. It's got loads of nice scenery. It's a good place. Maybe we just have to give it time. Let's pray that we do. Look, it even has a ride that spins around it. Literally no one's going there. People are picking up their water though, which is good. Um, so that's a nice little addition to this area. Big fan of the ride. Oh my goodness, my FPS though. Whoa. Look at this thing of a park. Like... I, I, I feel proud of this. Hopefully you guys feel proud for helping me create this. Let's, let's see. Does anyone go on this ride these days? You get the odd... Yeah, you're getting a few people on here. Does it make money? No. But hey. It's fine. It runs. It's, it's for the extreme people. Like, check this place out. Check this place out. Are many of my rides broken down right now? I feel like a lot of them are. It's broken down. Oh, what happened to the monster? People, this used to be popular. It's got really good prestige. I think we just dropped the price of it. There's just so much competition these days. I'm at that 850. I mean, we're charging a fair amount. Oh, okay, view ride. Lake Madness is broken down. Um, okay. Request for refurbishment. All right, let's check my notifications. See, so are you being... Okay, you're back online. Every 20. Okay, let's get this down to every 20. Challenge available. What's the new challenge? Um, seven inversions and nine excitement still on the list. Maybe I'll try that next time. Okay. Um, but everything's looking pretty decent right now. Okay, this was supposed to help with congestion. I think maybe we may manage to make that wider somehow. I'm not entirely sure how I would do that. Probably, like, remove that queue and link it more around that way. The thing is, I feel like if I destroyed that bit of path, this whole thing would delete itself. Because it's very picky like that. Um, but, you know, it's fine, really. We are at new levels for everything. New ride. All-time park rating. Let's see what the park management is saying. Okay. <laughs> We've got a lot in the, in the grey. But, again, we look on the overview. 90% are happy. Um, Q for Jungle Mountain Flume is always full, forever full. I'm glad I built that myself, and it's one of the most popular things of the game. 
How much has this made in its lifetime? I bet it's made over 100k. I'm saying 147k. Really? Only 27k? I guess that is a lot when it only makes 1800 a month. That is a lot of months it's been running. Actually, this has probably made more then. Has this made more? 79k, the looper. What the heck? Hey, I built that myself as well. That's a, that's a, that's a kudos to me, I guess. Let's see, are people hopping on this yet? The American Arrow? They're thinking about it. What's the prestige saying? Eh, it's gone up. It's gone up. And it's going to keep going up as it does runs. So that's good news. Rightio. I think we're going to leave it right here for um, the new... In fact, it's the corkscrew. Yeah, corkscrew. Corkscrew doing good things. Um, everything doing good things. I think we just kind of worked quite a lot on infrastructure. We've got one new ride. And the new food court. I will see you all on the next episode of Planet Coaster. Leave your suggestions, thoughts, all that stuff down below. Thanks and goodbye.